I believe in welfare, and I believe in welfare first. Um, I can say, in a manner of speaking, that I've lived welfare. The two most fundamental components in my belief of any university are its students and its staff. And it's the, um, for the university to run efficiently and effectively, the welfare of this community needs to take precedence above all other things. The majority of what I believe the welfare officer position to entail is case studies with students, working with individual students, all of whom have a variety of distinct and unique problems which with it they need support and advice. An array of problems students face day to day already exist. Reductions in student advisors, security personnel, sexual health and drug awareness and advice services to name but a few will only serve to exacerbate already existing problems and potentially create new ones. A university and its community is not an as and when context. You need to be proactive, not reactive. Because reactive in many ways can be far too late. The reality of the cuts to the services that the university faces will leave a severe deficit in the extent and quality of the support available to students. I've been an RA for two years in a row, and in addition to my individual experience, I'm proud to say that I've shared in the experiences of many others. In this role, I've engaged with all types of problems that can arise in student life. I feel strongly that I have developed the skills requisite of a welfare officer in being part of one of the vital support networks. Uh, one of the vital support networks that provide our